to think about. Yes. Okay. I'm at the justice again just because I'm a bit on the small side. I think everybody else is just freakishly tall. Um, I have a few laughs. I'm not good at stand up, but I have a friend. His name is Matt. Matt Siegel. And he's great at stand up. Oh, yeah! I don't think I'm allowed to play with this, so I'm just gonna... Hey, everybody! I did not expect to see this many people here, not gonna lie. Thank you, right down there. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like, not even five minutes ago, the people running the show came up to me and said, Matt, your routine's funny and all, but there's some things you just gotta take out of it, because they're not exactly PG-rated. And I was like, uh... Okay, sure. And they, so they started with, that joke about the pudding you were going to do? Yeah, that's got to go. And that joking about those barnyard animals? Yeah, we're not going to let you do that one. And there's no way we're going to let you tell that joke about the frozen food section at Safeway. That's got to go too. And so I was like, okay. And then like a minute after that, I was like, wait, that's my whole act! <laughs> So I kind of thought of these jokes within that small that time period, so hope they're funny. <laughs> they also said I had to keep the number of F-bombs I dropped to a minimum <laughs> of zero. All right, let's get the show on the road. You guys know what yogurt is, right? No. Oh, okay, cool, because I'll make Wait. that I'll make this joke go way smoother. You guys know the fruit on the bottom kind? Where it has, it has like fruit and then yeah. yogurt? Yeah. yeah, all right, that's cool. My, that's cool. my favorite. Oh thank you. Anyway, so I never really understood that stuff. Because if you ask me, that's just the yogurt company being lazy. Why do I have to stir up my own yogurt before I have to enjoy it? <laughs> if you ask me, that's they shouldn't call it. Fruit on the bottom yogurt. They should call it yogurt, parentheses, some assembly required. <laughs> you guys are a good looking audience. Thank you. There was this other audience here the other day and they were just ugly. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So, not too long ago, I heard that. Oh, love that kid. <laughs> a little while ago, I heard that many McDonald's restaurants in Europe had to ban the Happy Meal because so many children were choking on the toys. <laughs> Why is that funny, guys? Come on. Why is that funny? <laughs> anyway, that probably wouldn't happen if they didn't make the toys look so tasty. <laughs> But then again, that toy's probably healthier than anything you'll find in a Happy Meal. <laughs> Excuse me, Stephanie Jenkins, can I get you to come down here so we can remove the mic from the stand? <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. I would be lost without you. All right, now the show can finally get rolling. Yay. I hate shaving. <laughs> How random was that? <laughs> I hate shaving because every time I do it, I always hurt myself. Sometimes not so bad, sometimes it's all, dude, you gotta go to the hospital. Like this one time, I was in the bathroom, I was shaving. I was using a razor and shaving cream. And then my brother stepped in the doorway, and he went, Hey, Matt, look over here! And I went, What? <laughs> <laughs> Sliced my face. And I was like, Ah! What do you want? And he's like, Hi. <laughs> he just walked away. And I remember thinking, Ah! Ah! Well, the dance starts in five minutes, I should get going. <laughs> 
Shaving's scary. It's scary. But then again, to me, lots of things are scary, because, well, I'm afraid of mostly everything. I watch the news and I have to make a new list of things to be afraid of. <laughs> like, for example, for the longest time, I was terrified of being attacked by an alligator when I'm in the shower. <laughs> like, I'd just be soaping up and then all of a sudden this huge alligator would come out of nowhere and I'd be like, ah! Like, I would tell my mom and dad, like, Mom, Dad, I can't take a shower, an alligator's gonna eat me! And they would say, Matt, you don't have time to mess around, the talent show starts in 20 minutes! <laughs> <laughs> Another thing I was terrified for, like, for years even, is a guy, I think we all might know him, his name... Swiper the Fox. That's right, I'm gonna start telling some Dora the Explorer jokes. Seriously, that guy haunted my nightmares. I was terrified of him. Like, in my dream, I'd be walking along, going to like a, a blueberry bush or something stupid, I don't know. And I had my backpack that had the eating disorder and my map that can't find his way out of a cardboard box. <laughs> I'd just be walking. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, psst, psst, psst. You're like, oh crap, oh no, oh no, because you know, he's going to come and take your stuff. That's why, so he just like jumps in the middle of the road, and you know how you got to stop him, you got to say, swipe or no swipe, and three times, I don't know, he's like Bloody Mary or something. <laughs> And I'm like begging with people on the other side of the screen to say swipe or no swiping, but apparently people watching the, my dream through their television set don't like me very much, so they're just like, no. <laughs> and so he like takes all my stuff and just like chucks them in the nearest bush, and he's like, ha, you'll never find it now. And I'm like, no! And then I wake up, I'm terrified, I'm sweating, and I get out of bed, I check all my stuff to make sure it's still there. And it is, because I was dreaming. <laughs> scary stuff, man, scary stuff. Did I ever tell you guys about the time where I was almost kidnapped? Yeah. Oh, no. well, I'll tell it again. Yay. Okay, so this one time, my father took me and my brothers fishing. I can't remember, it was a long time ago. So anyway, I went to the parking lot for some reason, I can't remember. And there was this guy, he came up to me and he said, Hey, excuse me, I'm having trouble starting my car. I was wondering if while I tinker with the engine, you could fiddle around with the ignition and try and start it. And I was about to go, yeah, I'll help you, let's go. But I thought, wait a minute, <coughs> wait, I don't know this guy and he wants me to get in his car. Red flags. <laughs> and I tried to remember, Matt, what would McGruff the crime dog say in this kind of situation? But that's just the thing, I couldn't remember what he would have said. So in the back of my head, I started going over what every cartoon animal mascot has ever said in their life. So I was like, hmm, only you could prevent wildfires? No, that's not it. I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? No, that one doesn't even make sense. Until eventually I thought, don't talk to strangers, that's it. So my heart was telling me, dude, just help this guy, he needs to get home. But my mind was telling me, dude, don't help this guy, he's gonna have his way with you and then possibly eat you. <laughs> oh my God. And so I said, you know, I'm sure you're just a guy that's, you know, sticky wicked, but I'm sorry. My parents told me not to talk to strangers. And so he said, oh, that's okay, I'm, I thought you were a little older. And he walked away. But I know, in the back of his head, he was thinking, darn it, I almost had him too! Because <laughs> who wouldn't want to kidnap this? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, well, there's a person over there going like, so I can only assume that means I gotta wrap it up. So, okay, I'm gonna, for my last joke, I'm gonna start like this. Not too long ago, I was flipping through our school yearbook, and I saw a page with 
pictures on it. And that got me thinking, if I were to have my yearbook photo any way I would want it, how would I have it? And that made me think of the greatest yearbook photo in the world. Or at least that's what I thought. Anyway, I thought it was pretty cool. So, how it would go is you would flip to the page I'm on, and you'd see my picture. And in that picture, I'd be going like... And in that picture, there'd be a little word bubble, and it would say, Help! I'm trapped in a little rectangle! <laughs> well, anyway, I kind of got a pee, so I guess my performance is over. You guys are a beautiful audience. I'm Matt Siegel, and I'll be here for the rest of the semester. Do it, I'm <laughs>